<laughs> Unless you have already have an answer well, I, pretty I, I, close I, by. So I, I do have, you let's know. Let's go with that. A couple ways to think about this because, you know, we talked before about the, um, uh, right now the cutting edge of, of the field is with, uh, where, where it dovetails with neuroscience. Right. And one of the ways to think about um, um, any of the things that we do art-wise is um, it, we can see them through those that lens, and there's this notion of the euthymic window. We've talked about that before, yes. <clears throat> and that is that there is this um, there is a um, a window with an upper limit and lower limit, and that we attempt to be able to maintain a homeostasis, and that we attempt to be able to um, to remain within that window. And some people's windows are narrower and lower. So when you talk about folks who don't like horror films the upper register of their euthymic window may be a bit lower than those who do. And so when we go, when we get on a roller coaster, for instance, right. we want to be at the upper level of that euthymic window. So we take that homeostasis and we tilt it in this direction so we give ourselves a, um, a safe and calculated thrill that just verges on trauma, but it doesn't. Right. So it's up in that limit. Just like we right. watch, like, a, like some people would say, why would you want to watch Old Yeller, right? Right. Because... And that's the bottom end of the euthymic window. That is sadness. Like, why watch a movie where, like, you know, everybody dies of cancer, right. you know, and then the kid, the, their, their dog gets hit by a car. You know, what, what, but people right. do that, right? They yes, do. Yes, they do. So and in some really ways, the, 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 you know, the, the weeper, the romantic tragedy is the opposite end of the euthymic window, bottom end, where the horror film is on the upper. So, um, and, and thrillers do a little bit of that too, but there is something about the horror film that we, we, we generate a false threat and we place ourselves in the midst of that for, um, for that, that experience. And that experience, right. and another way to think about this too is there was a cat by the name of Daniel Stern. He did a lot of work with infants. He talks about vitality affects. Okay. And that, you know, if you ever notice, like, um, if you have a baby, you ever seen one of them babies? Yes, I yes, have. A couple. couple. At the house there yeah. for a number of years. So, yeah, but but I had one of them, I had one of them, too. I was like, oh. <laughs> and at one point, I was like. Scary. Yeah, another, but, another thing. Speaking of horror film. <laughs> yeah, cats. that's right. Our own personal horror <laughs> film right there. I, I, well, at the and house I, I, I'm convinced that if anybody, you know, when we were about to have a kid, everybody's like, oh, it's great. You're going to love oh, this baby thing. Nobody kid. tells me. And then those same people, I'm like, I haven't slept in six months. Right. I'm covered in all sorts of horrible things. And you're you like, don't smell very good And either. then the same people that told me how great it was looked at me and said, yeah, isn't it horrible? I'm like, that's not what you were telling that's, me before. That's not how you told me all this wonderful stuff that was going to happen. You should do it too. No, sharing my pain is what this <laughs> what might be. What were you up to with this thing? Okay, but you have having the baby. Say you somebody interact with a the baby. There's a way in which to be able to, um, to interact with a baby. We do peekaboo, peekaboo. We, uh, we speak in a way that we accent these vitality affects we scare them we do all these sorts of things so, so the very development of our nervous system is based on these interactive moments in which we create attenuated near traumas we literally generate these things mm -hmm. so you can think about it a horror film is a little like just grown up peekaboo right so it's it's from stern's standpoint we we um, we seek out these these experiences that give us this same sort of peekaboo. So, what is a horror film? It's just a, a, a you know, a giant screen version of that sort of peekaboo. Well, it's almost something that we we do that we have some control over mm -hmm. as it, well. Right, and it is a so, controlled. So trauma. we don't go out of too far out mm -hmm. there to scare ourselves and really bring around mm -hmm. about the trauma, but it's sort of regulated in some way. So mm -hmm. I, I can understand it now. Well, that that's helpful. But you're right. The um, the movie, the horror genre is everywhere. There's always a horror movie on. <laughs>